Hi everyone and welcome to the current episode of The Daily Grind. Today I want to talk to you about the focus of what I've been doing the past several weeks and that has been making swimsuits and I thought I had this one finished and I took it out to do the video this morning and I realized I never top stitch on that edge that I wanted to finish off. So that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. But if you remember from my previous video, I showed you how this edge right here of this bikini top actually came up much higher. And what I did was I cut off some of this fabric right here and then just restitched it. So I just made that modification because sometimes you have to figure out how to make it look better without having to take everything apart. So just cutting off some fabric really gave a different look to this bikini top. Now, am I going to model these for you? Yes, I am, but I wanna have at least five going. So then I'll just do an entire video of styles that I feel are suitable to my body type. Because I think when you make a swimsuit, you have to analyze what looks good on you and what doesn't look good on you. And that goes for colors too, because let me tell you, I think this color on me is dreadful. I paired it with the black bikini bottoms and the black bikini bottoms turned out okay. But I just gotta tell you, this was made from a Patty Reed pattern, uh, Simplicity. And I love the style on the cover of the pattern photo, but when it was made up, you know, I don't know. I'm sworn off Patty Reed patterns. I don't think that there were many of them, but I did too. And one was a huge water that had to be cut up for cleaning cloths. And then this one just really wasn't too flattering. And another thing about Simplicity, Butterick, McCall, and Vogue, they draft their patterns for a B cup, which was probably great back in the 70s when that sizing system was and enacted for all four pattern companies. But now the average cup size is a C. So I looked at this and it's always a little bit tricky for me to know in a bikini top, how much to adjust from a B to a D. So because of the amount of stretch of the nylon lycra, I just did about, I think it was a quarter inch, which is not much. I did a quarter inch this way and a quarter inch this way. I just make quick and easy adjustments. And honestly, in retrospect, I really didn't need to make any, but this, the way it was constructed and the way it looked on me when it was finished, it's just ho-hum. You know, if you need a bathing suit and everything else is dirty, this is the one that would be worn. And I just, not my favorite. So let's go to the next one. When I was finished with the leopard print and black bottom bikini, I decided to move on to the Siren Swim Top by Patterns for Pirates and also the Hello Sailor Bottoms by Patterns for Pirates. And the fit out of the envelope, I did grade between sizes, was beautiful. Now, this is not an exact representation of how it looks, but it really goes across my body nicely and it has the built-in swim cups. You could leave the flounce off. They also have another flounce that comes down a little bit longer into a V on the front. But I put in the swim cups and I generally like the swim cups against my skin. You can put the swim cups inside your bikini lining or your swimsuit lining or you could put them you know, next to your skin. It doesn't matter where you put it on those sides. But I, I will tell you, the fit was great. And when I was making the Siren Swim Top, usually when I make swimsuits, I based the lining to the fashion fabric. So I'm looking at these directions thinking, you know, there must be a reason for this, but why are they making the lining separately and then inserting it later? Because I don't like to do that. Well, I found out when I went to attach the straps to the bodice, because the way I did it was kind of quick and dirty. But again, another sample swimsuit out of fabric that has been in my stash for at least a decade. So next time I make this top, and I probably will because I want to make the one that has the longer V flounce in the front, I will make the lining separate and then do it exactly as they said in the directions. Also, the bikini bottoms I did right here, super cute. I love these, they fit great. When I was making these, I did have to cut more off the front. I had to go down about an inch and a quarter, tapering to nothing at the side seams because it just came up too high on my midsection. And I did not think that was flattering. So a minor tweak here, but overall the fit on these were great. So let's look at the next one. So this is the next swimsuit I'm working on. And this one is the Sophie swimsuit by, I think it's Closet File Patterns, I think. 
<laughs> I'll correct it if I'm wrong. And I think this one's going to turn out pretty good. They have you measuring your under bust and then your full bust. And I did my full bust with a bra and without a bra because the bra adds some padding there. And what I'm going to do is take the midpoint between with a bra and without a bra to use as the the actual cup measurement. And that's what I did on this one. So I'll see how this goes. Again, test ones are always a little bit tricky. You never know how they're going to turn out. But I think this one is gonna be pretty good. This one has a closure in the back like a bra and it has um, straps. I think they're supposed to tie at the neck, but what I might do is try to extend them and see if I can get them going all the way down to the back of the bra band because I hate things that, not at my neck, unless I could clasp it on my neck. I'm, I might do the clasp because I think I was going to do that on my other one. So we'll see how that goes. But again, I think these are all good. Now, the other week, last week, I think I ordered on a Tuesday and it came on a Thursday. Super, super quick shipping from Telus Lycra. I have never ordered from Telus Lycra before, but I ordered the mother load of swimsuit fabrics. So I'm gonna show you some of the things that I got and some of the freebies they gave me. So right here, this is the first one. This is kind of like a hologram type of shimmery fabric. All right, so this was a beauty. Then I got this one right here. It's like a snake skin, beautiful. Oh gosh, just love these fabrics. And this one is kind of like pastels. I think this will look good against my skin. I don't know, but we'll see. And then I must have liked this one so much. I think this is the same colorway, but <laughs> I have another cut of this. Then I did get some solids. I got a blue solid because this is a good color for me. You know, I'm not going to order a bad color for me. So I have this all in a bag so my cats don't get to it. I have a light pink. Then I have more of a fuchsia, brighter, bold pink. And then I have, this is one of my faves, I have an aqua and black leopard print. Ooh, that's delicious. And then I have some more black because you can always use black. And then I have this kind of like this rainbow effect here. Love that. And then pink and brown is one of my favorite combos. So I got a pink and a brown print right there. Ooh, love that too. And then I got kind of like a red one, snakeskin very shimmery. Oh, love this. And then I got a bright, bold print. So this one will go nice with the hot pink plain fabric. And last but not least, this is my fave. I'm going to make a one piece out of it because I just love this fabric. It reminds me of that movie Frozen with those colors. I've never seen Frozen, but I've seen Frozen fabric and I just like it. It's like a little icicle right there. The wonderful thing about Talus Lycra is not only did they send me these fabrics quickly, but let me show you what else they sent me as freebies. So the first thing I got were goodie bags of extra fabrics. Now this is small because I took a lot of the samples out, but they sent me a whole bunch of sample fabrics in different prints and different textures. So it really was helpful to let me see other fabrics that I might be interested in. Now remember, nylon lycra does not need to be used solely for swimsuits. You can make garments out of this too, but I thought this was extra special. I got two large bags of these. I don't know where the other ones went, but they're around. Then they sent me a sample bag of elastic and it is really hard to get quarter inch swim elastic. I don't know why, from my usual sources. I've never looked at Amazon, but I purchased it from So Sassy as well as Bra Maker Supply. But they sent me, what Talus Lycra sent me was quarter inch elastic. And the other two places I just mentioned only have it in three eighths of an inch elastic. So it was really nice to see that I could get the quarter inch from a different supplier and like I said, shipping was real quick. Then I got this elastic and I'm going to probably contact them to ask them what this is for. This is not like a typical elastic. It's very thin. It's almost a cross between regular elastic and clear elastic. So really cool. I just want to know what Telus Lycra recommends this for because it was really cool. And then I got a sample of bra cups and I did not order these. These are just plain and simple bra cups, no padding, but sometimes this might be really suitable for 
certain garments, all right, <laughs> including swimsuits. These don't have padding, but you know, you never know. I could probably use these somewhere, two different styles. So I thought that was really just a great thing that the company did so I could see more of what their products are. Now, when you are sewing a swimsuit, all you really need to do is have swimsuit fabric and elastic. But the other things that go into a swimsuit are really what sets it apart and makes that swimsuit really supportive and more flattering to your figure. So I wanna show you some of the things that you're gonna need if you are looking into swimsuits. And I'm not talking about the extra notions like the clips and, and you know the S-clips that go in the back and maybe rings and things like that, but just some basic things to take a one piece or a simple bikini from an okay swimsuit to one that is ideal, that has support and structure and is really gonna help make you look good. So the first thing you always wanna to add to a swimsuit is swim lining. This is very, very thin fabric, great stretch. And some people only line their swimsuit on the front particularly on a one piece. I like to do it on the front and the back. I just like the extra smoothness that it gives you, but I just think this is great to use on swimsuits. You could use it on the front of a bikini top on your cups. I line the bikini bottoms as well. The next thing that is always great to add, and some patterns will require this, is mesh, swim mesh. So this is just an example of swim mesh. I ordered from I can't remember, it was Bra Maker Supply or So Sassy. I ordered a sample pack of mesh and they sent me four different colors, but this is some of the gray mesh and you can see it's see-through, but you could use it also to line the front of a one piece or the bikini bottoms to really hold in that tummy. I did that on the bikini bottoms, the Hello Sailor Bottoms that I showed you before, I did line the front with the mesh. So that just really helps add to a nice looking swimsuit. Another thing I like to add to swimsuits are swim cups. Now these are ones that I purchased from Amazon and I will see how these turn out. The Namaya Bra Insert Pads. This is what I put in the blue siren swim top and you can see they do have some booster padding on the bottom but these are just really nice to fit in your bra cups of your swimsuit whether it's a one piece or a bikini i also bought a different style so let me set this down this different style you can see it through the bag this is more of the triangular piece that you would use on bikini tops or one pieces that tend to go up and straight whether they tie in the back or or attached to the band in the back, that's irrelevant. It's just the style. And this one also has some padding at the bottom. So I like the ones that are a little bit more beefy. They have that extra padding. The ones that I got as a sample from Telecycle do not have any extra padding, but at the bare minimum, put them in because they're just gonna give you a really nice look. Another thing that is really good to add, particularly if you're a C-cup or larger, is swim foam. Now I'll show you what this looks like. It's, you know, about an eighth of an inch thick, and I like to order it in white and black because that'll go with just about, you know, the light colors and the dark colors. But the swim padding is what's going to go inside these cups. So I won't use the pre-molded cups that I just showed you from Amazon. I will create my own and just line the cups with that to give it that bra-like effect. And swim foam is really great to use if you are very large and you can't find swim cups in your size. This is what you're going to use. But lining your cups is going to be perfect for this. So there are some things, like I said, some of these extras that really take swimsuit making from just A-OK -okay to really have a stellar, supportive swimsuit that fits and flatters your body. So will these fit and flatter my body? You know, I'm working through these samples, so I'll let you know, and I will model them when I get at least five or six done. All right, you guys. So with that in mind, I want you to get sewing in your sewing room, whether it's swimsuits, whether it's dresses, whether it's tops, jackets, whatever. Keep busy. There's always something to learn every single day. I don't know about you, but I know I learn something at least once a week. All right. Thanks, you guys. Stay stitching.